Oh my God, my hair is so ugly. I really need a haircut. Oh, but anyways, the past three weeks, I was in Toronto, I was in Las Vegas, San Francisco, and San Jose for tech business trips. And I'm finally back in Kingston where my university is. So I'm three weeks behind on school and it's a lot to catch up on. So today's gonna be very hectic. But first, I got the S24 Ultra over here and it's actually my first time using it. So it's gonna be a really fun day in the life where I can put this phone through the test as a student for you guys. And ever since I got the S Pen, the first thing I do in the morning is write my to-do list. All right, I just had to make a quick stop at Enterprise before class because I have to return my rental car from the weekend because I traveled 12 hours in total to Montreal and Ikea back and forth, and then Ikea in Ottawa the next day to pick up some Ikea furniture. But since we're here early, I wanted to tell you guys about one of my favorite parts about this phone, and that's honestly this big rectangular display over here. I mean, just look at how beautiful this display is. Like, this phone doesn't have rounded corners at all, so the screen goes completely right up to the edge, so the bezels are super thin, and honestly, it just makes the phone and screen feels so much bigger in the hands than it actually is. This phone also goes up to an insane 2,600 nits of brightness. So look, I'm using like 70% of the screen brightness outdoors right now, which is insane. But by far the most noticeable upgrade on the display this year is the addition of Gorilla Glass Armor, which actually cuts light reflections by 75%. I actually forgot they said that in the keynote. So when I first got this phone, I was like, why does the display look so good at every angle? And I mean, I don't know how well it translates on camera, but it makes a big difference. This is my iPhone 15 Pro Max for comparison and just look at how well the S24 Ultra handles the reflection of this window. It's mind-blowing and game-changing. But anyways, I have a three-hour live in half an hour and I'm probably gonna be late, so I better get going. Thank you, safe driving, see ya. All right, it is 11.35 and I'm only five minutes late to my lab, so that's all right. But the scary thing is, you know, I skipped the first three weeks of the lab and I don't know any of my group members, so I don't know, they might kill me. I don't even know who they are, so uh, kind of scared right now. All right, you know the rich, viral, international kid from TikTok? Well, that's what bringing this phone to school makes me feel like because it looks so luxurious in this gold-like color, and I just love the titanium frame and how blocky this phone is. The relatively flush camera design looks great too because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And I know I can't stop mentioning this, but just look at how beautiful those perfectly thin symmetrical bezels are, and because these corners are rounded, it just makes the screen so much bigger to look at. My only complaint is that because the corners are so sharp, it does sort of dig into your palms when you're using it. But other than that, this phone is beautiful and so luxurious to use. All right, I just finished my painful three hour lab in which I don't know who my group partners are and I don't know where they are. So I tried to email them and they didn't respond. So yeah, I'm basically stuck to do this group project myself and I have to catch up on the past few weeks as well, which is gonna suck. But yes, now I have another three hour lab, but I think they just emailed me saying that they didn't wanna meet up. Like they don't wanna go to lab today, they wanted to skip. So I'm like, okay, I guess we will do like a team Microsoft Teams call or something later to catch up. I don't know. I'm just gonna head somewhere and do some work during this lab then.
All right, I tried to get a little bit of work done even though I'm so tired, but I uh, thought it'd be a good time to talk about productivity on the S24 Ultra, especially with this S Pen over here. So this is actually the first Ultra phone I had. So it's my first experience using the S Pen. And at first I thought this would be absolutely useless and a gimmick that I wouldn't use, but now that I'm actually using this phone for two weeks now, I actually love this thing. And oh, I don't even want to return this phone to Samsung anymore because of how useful this is. Like I use this pen to write down a physical to-do list every morning. I wrote this entire document for today's day in life with this phone. And honestly, it's just nice being able to write down your thoughts as you think of it instead of typing on your phone. I also really like how you can annotate photos with this pen. And honestly, like if you don't have an iPad or a tablet or something, this actually can kind of be like a good temporary solution for you to write down notes in class, which is pretty cool. The only thing I don't like is that it's very hard to write on the phone if you're not having it on a surface but regardless like this pen lives inside the phone and you can carry it everywhere and convenience is king so that's really really useful and oh man i'm gonna really miss it when i return this phone to samsung oh my god my s24 came let's go Hi, good, how about you? Uh, could I pick up a package for 478, please? Awesome, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Let's go, I finally got the phone. Oh my God, it was like a new employee, so like he didn't know I was a regular. But uh, we had a couple conversations. I taught him about like content creation and stuff, so that was pretty cool. Made a new friend. All right, before I head home, I just wanna go into Metro just to see if there's any good deals on stuff for groceries since I'm right by it anyways. And also, that would be a really good opportunity to show you guys all the cool Galaxy AI features that are on the S24 Ultra because, man, they're so cool. All right, for the first Galaxy AI feature, let me show you circle to search of this block of cheese. I've never tried this cheese before, so I'm gonna open up my camera app, long press the home button, and then simply highlight the name of the cheese and pull up the search. Now I can easily look at its tasting notes. And let me just say that again, a simple long press of the home button means that you can search up any image or text on your screen. Hello, this is a test of the voice transcription feature on the voice recording app on the Samsung S24 Ultra. And just like the Pixel, you can now transcribe and even translate all your voice recordings straight on the phone. There's also a note assist feature in which you can summarize all your notes and even a cool chat GBT like writing tool in which the AI will take your text and write it in a different tone. But by far the coolest feature is Live Translate, which means that you can speak and hold a conversation of someone else on the phone without knowing the language at all. Alrighty, I am done grocery shopping and it is time to go home. And I decided because I haven't done any camera tests today, I'm basically gonna use the camera and take photos on the way home so you guys can see how the night samples perform. And yeah, this is the selfie camera for vlogging right now. And then if I switch over to the rear camera, things should look a lot better compared to the selfie camera. Thought I met you at the wrong time. Then you caught me on that one night Girl, I wanna know How this thing get out of my controls Zip line into your timeline Hey, that body don't lie I didn't care for the hype, yeah But when I saw you tonight Ooh, girl You know just what you do And I'll go a thousand miles To show you that I'm right For your love Breaking next when you passing them by. Make sure they know that you take and love in your vibe. Let's be forever tonight. And I will let
It's nine o'clock right now, which means it's close to the end of the day. And also I just realized that I had a 6.30 to 9.30 class, another three hour class after two of my three hour labs that I ended up missing. So I'll go starting next week, but yeah, not gonna lie, I'm exhausted and I still have a lot of work to do. So I think I'm just gonna end the vlog right over here. But man, this thing is an absolute battery beast. Like I'm checking right now, it's 33%. I was on 5G the whole day and use the camera a lot. And my screen on time is almost like five and a half hours, but I'll leave like the most updated at the end of the day when I go to bed, I'll show you guys on screen. But yeah, this thing, has surpassed my Pixel 8 Pro and my iPhone 15 Pro Max battery by far, because they would have died by then. And also, I'm just in love with this phone. It's just like the most luxurious, like awesome feeling phone that I've ever used. The S Pen, honestly, became a lot more useful than I expected, and I'm really gonna miss this when I get turn this back to Samsung. And yeah, but I'm excited. I have the small S24 that I picked up today, which I've been using for the past two years, like the small version. So that's gonna be really fun, and I'm gonna make a video about that, but yeah. I'm gonna have a lot more videos on this phone. I'm gonna have a review of this phone and also a comparison to the Pixel 8 Pro. So definitely stay tuned for those. Also, I always forget to do this, but shout out to all my beautiful Twitter supporters because they are all awesome, especially MTG, Alex, and James. Definitely go check out all of their channels. But yeah, I appreciate everyone's support and none of this will be possible without you guys. So thank you guys so much. But yeah, that's it for the day in life and I don't wanna keep on rambling. So if you guys stayed all the way till the end, thank you guys guys so much for watching and I really appreciate it and I hope you guys got some useful insight from my perspective as a student. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to smash the like and subscribe button and stay tuned for so much more Galaxy content that is coming. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one and have a great one.